Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at KnoxSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. A lot to talk about. We're going to put our NFL team previews on hold for one day because we got a lot to talk about, including another free, our final free NFL draft prop coming up on this report. But as I said, there's a whole lot to talk about, starting with the effect of COVID-19 on the upcoming sports world, the North American sports world for that matter. And as I've told you before, I'm not going to sit here and discuss the science of COVID-19. I don't go to my doctor. I don't go to an epidemiologist to ask for sports picks. There is no way that I'm going to try to do, to do their job. However, we did say we would jump in when there was some news that involved the world of sports and having to do with COVID-19. And what we found out, the NHL put it out there. They're working on everything they can, the best they can right now to get started, restart their league in July, which means they would play, according to them, if everything goes as planned, they will not only have a playoffs, but they're looking to play out the entire rest of the regular season. I don't know if that's going to happen the rest of the regular season. It might be a shortened version and then the playoffs. But here's what we've heard. No neutral ice arenas are going to be used. Not North Dakota, anything like that, like you might have heard. Uh, what they're going to do is have four locations, one location from each division. What they've got right now are three locations they've already talked about, these locations in place, because they weren't hit so hard by the COVID-19 virus. So they're talking about Edmonton, Carolina, Minnesota, home of the wild, with a fourth city yet to be determined. So we'll update you more on that. But the NHL looking to get the ball rolling or the puck flying down the ice, at least, I guess we should say. And maybe we'll see other sports like the NBA and Major League Baseball begin to get working harder and harder at when they can bring their seasons back. We just need one major sport uh, to announce they're coming back. And then I think it starts a domino effect. Speaking of that, NASCAR, it's been out there today on a Wednesday. We've heard plenty of reports that NASCAR is aiming for a May 24th restart to their schedule. I've heard as early as May 17th, so we'll see. But the public word out there right now is May 24th to restart the upcoming NASCAR season. As far as the NFL draft, that's what we're all here for, right? We're looking at the NFL draft taking place on Thursday. It starts at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Real quick note before I get to that, got a call from ESPN National a couple of days ago, and they asked me to do a little short segment on the betting aspects of the NFL draft for 2020. So be sure to, uh, to check out ESPN National, the pre-draft show, and uh, I'll be on there to talk a little bit about uh, Thursday night's NFL draft from a betting perspective. But here's what we know so far. Before I get to my free NFL draft prop, our final one, check out my other videos the past couple of days for more free NFL draft props. But before I do that, real quick note, William Hill sent this to us, the biggest NFL draft prop bet thus far. William Hill books, Nevada and New Jersey, $4,000 bet uh, to net $5,000 on over three quarterbacks drafted in the first round. Uh, that's minus 400, $4,000 bet over three quarterbacks drafted in the first round. Uh, the second and third biggest bets they took were both on Jerry Judy. There's a $3,200 bet at minus a buck 60 that Jerry Judy goes uh, before the 13th pick. So under 12 and a half before the 13th pick. Uh, there was another um, mount of Amount placed, third biggest bet also on Jerry Judy, same bet, under 12 and a half. $2,900 on that one at minus a buck 45. Then he'll go the 12th pick or sooner. Uh, and that's basically the top three money bets at William Hill. There were some big potential payouts on an NFL draft prop bet at William Hill. There, in fact, is one on Isaiah Simmons, a uh, $500 bet at 50 to 1 on the Cleveland Browns drafting Isaiah Simmons. So if Cleveland does draft Isaiah Simmons, that $500 bet nets $25. 1500 There's a few more like that, but none that great. And the five most popular NFL draft, draft prop bets at William Hill, Tua, of course, uh, Tago Vailoa, his draft position odds have been bet like crazy. A lot of guys are betting him to go over three and a half, which means he'd be drafted fifth or later in the draft. I mean, that's all the way up to like minus $3 and then some in some spots. Another popular bet, which team will draft Tua? And a lot of talk about the Dolphins moving up to get him, the Dolphins moving up to get Herbert. Uh, we'll see which team will draft Isaiah Simmons is a big bet. Jordan Love, the Utah State quarterback we were so fond of throughout the last couple of years, especially his second 
second to final year with Utah State. Jordan Love's draft position odds have been heavily bet. He's a quarterback, was a quarterback for the Aggies. And of course, Justin Herbert, his draft position odds were another popular bet. First five NFL draft prop bets at William Hill. Uh, they came out and it was Jerry Judy under 12 and a half. That was the first. DeAndre Swift over 26 and a half, which means he would be drafted 28th or later in Thursday night's draft for that to cash. There's a couple of those five. So that'll give you an idea of what's going on. But again, William Hill's most popular, uh, biggest, I should say, most, the biggest bet they've taken as far as the amount of money on any single bet, $4,000 over three quarterbacks drafted in the first round. And the person who made that bet got it at minus 400. So there you go. Listen, a lot of books closed at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday night, 24 hours in advance of the draft. At least all of those in the state of Nevada did. Uh, some in other locales internationally. Some will be open as late as 12 noon on Thursday, four or five hours before the draft, uh, before they shut things down. So be sure to check it out uh, where you're looking to play if you decide to jump on board with any props that you may have. Uh, as far as one more free draft prop that I have, uh, I think you're going to get uh, a decent chance at over five and a half offensive linemen. Going to have to lay about two bucks with this one in all likelihood. But uh, we've got Jedrick Wills out of Alabama, Tristan Wirfs out of Iowa, Mackay Becton out of Louisville. What a man child, number 73 out of Louisville. Andrew Thomas out of Georgia. We've got those four going in our top 14. After that, Josh Jones out of, uh, who, who was likely, a lot of people are thinking he's going to go to New England, but Josh Jones is one of the uh, linemen who we think will go in the first round. Austin Jackson out of Southern Cal and Cesar Ruiz out of Michigan. That's seven. We've got seven offensive linemen very likely to go in the opening round at the very least six because when we break it down, we thought worst case scenario, we would get six in the opening round and Cesar Ruiz at worst, maybe the first pick of the second round. I think instead you're going to see all seven guys heading to the NFL in the first round of the offensive linemen. That's a word going around the league, a run on offensive linemen in the opening round and opening uh, portion of the second round uh, in Thursday night's NFL draft. So listen, again, we have other NFL free draft props that have been posted on the videos that I've done over the last couple of days. You can check them out on my YouTube page. I still have a four play package going on right now at DocSports.com. Uh, it's led by a six star play, so be sure to grab that. And soccer, everybody. Listen, I lost in baseball early Wednesday morning. Uh, in Taiwan. We snapped our three-game winning streak, uh, but I did come back Thursday afternoon and we cashed, excuse me, Wednesday afternoon and we cashed in Nicaragua in soccer and we've just been hot in soccer. Now we've uh, swept our plays since Saturday in Nicaragua in soccer. And check back every day because I am involved in the Belarus League, Nicaragua in their playoffs, and uh, I will have at least one soccer play for Friday posted by Thursday afternoon. So be sure to make note of that if you uh, would like to jump on board. My next NFL uh, preview, team preview, uh, will be posted late Thursday night, maybe about, oh gosh, at the latest, I would say 11 p.m. Pacific time, Thursday night for Friday. We'll hopefully have a free pick from soccer or baseball, Taiwan baseball available at that time also, but at least my next NFL preview. It's going to do it for me for Thursday. Enjoy the draft. Don't go crazy uh, with the bets. If you can't afford to, certainly don't jump in. You want to never bet over your head. You want to bet with your head as you heard over and over. I'm not the first one to say that. Uh, but anyway, we'll be back late Thursday night, early Friday morning with our next report. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column, and I'll be right back here then. We'll talk to you.